What's up guys, you're watching Jay's Two Cents, your one-stop place of learning how to tweak and build and upgrade your PC. And with keeping that tradition alive, we're gonna go ahead and take a look today at the A-Data XPG SX900 solid state drive. This thing is pretty cool, so let's go ahead and dive in and take a look. You're like me when it comes to upgrading your PC or building or just getting anything new, you want to tear into the box and throw it aside. And generally I would do that, but for the sake of educational purposes, we're going to go ahead and take a look at what's printed on the box because it puts the most important information about this SSD right here where you can see it. First off, it does have smart command support. Not all hard drives on the market have smart support and having that smart utilization built in gives you the ability to talk to your hard drive and learn a lot about what's going on. And when it comes to SSDs, it's pretty important because it lets you know everything that's going on with your drive. So this definitely supports smart support. For controller, this is driven by Sandforce. There are other kinds of controllers on the market. Marvel, for instance, uh, this is a Sandforce drive. Uh, it does have shock resistance built in, it has trim support, and it's got the Acronis True Image HD. And what that does is it allows you to copy your current hard drive or SSD or whatever it may be over to this one without having to reinstall all your programs or windows or any of that. We're gonna definitely be testing that feature as it's gonna be going into my main system right here. On the back of the box, it tells you what comes included. It is a two and a half inch SSD, but it does have built-in ECC and wear leveling technology. So what that means is that it's gonna constantly move data around as you're reading and writing to give you maximum life on this drive. If you're not familiar with how SSDs work, they're basically like memory chips built into the hard drive rather than having a moving disc or a rotating disc in there. And the lifespan is based on read write of each individual chip and module. So what this does is it keeps the information nice and spread out so that you don't wear down portions of the drive prematurely. So it keeps things nice and level. Not only does it include the migration software, it also includes the three and a half inch bracket in case you have a case that doesn't support a two and a half inch drive, you can use a three and a half inch adapter and mount this anywhere you could put a standard uh, sized hard drive. Now when it comes to read speed, it is up to 550 megabytes per second for documents and up to 510 megabytes per second for multimedia data. And for the write speed, you have up to 530 megabytes for documents and up to 320 megabytes for multimedia. That's pretty fast and it's a lot faster than the M4 that I'm getting ready to replace. Now this is gonna be a pretty simple unboxing, so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. It's uh, just got these two little seals over here. Break that, this is unopened. We're opening this together for the first time right here on Jay's Two Cents. And I am not the most graceful unboxer in the world, but I can get the job done, I can get in the box. All right, so when you pull it out, this is what you're greeted with here. The SSD is sitting in a plastic tray. You have uh, your quick start guide right here, which is gonna talk all about getting it mounted into your computer. It's gonna have, uh, let's see what else is gonna be in here. It's got a million different languages on here, but it's got your start drive, your handling precautions, and how to install it and all of that. And you have your drive right here. It is a brushed metal drive. It's pretty cool looking, actually. I do like that it's this brushed black. I actually thought it was gray based on the pictures, but this is brushed black, which is actually gonna look really good in my case, even though you can't really see it. Uh, as you can see though, I did go, uh, I did get a 256 gigabyte model, which is a step up from my 128 gig that I currently have. Um, you have this little bracket right here. I'm not entirely too sure what that's for. We'll have to take a look at that together. You have the three and a half inch uh, adapter here which is kind of a purpley color, interestingly enough. I'll go ahead and tear that open and look real quick. So it's like a, a violet color, which is kind of strange. I would think that they would have made that black, um, but whatever, I digress. It's, I guess if uh, you're into that color. And that's pretty much it. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do some investigation here on how we use their migration software. And we're gonna go ahead and migrate my current Windows installation over to this drive to see how well the software works and whether or not it's flawless or not and just how easy it is. And then we'll get into some benchmarking and see just how fast this drive really is. 
Okay, real quickly, when it comes to the migration software, the way it works is there's a little bit of a, there's a little folded up document in here that tells you exactly what to do. Uh, it gives you a address for you to go to, a web URL that you go and you download the software. And then what they've done is on the back of each SSD, and I'm gonna cover mine up, but under my finger here is a sticker with a serial key on there or a uh, authentication key for the uh, Acronis ATI HD 2013 migration software. So that's how you do it. There's a sticker on here with a key. You download the software, you put in, uh, you reboot, or you turn off your computer, obviously, you install your drive, and then you let the migration utility do its thing. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now, and when we come back, the drive will be installed, and we'll go ahead and see how well that migration utility actually works. I've got the SSD installed. It is really, really fast. And I've got to say that when it comes to using the utility for migrating the data over to the new hard drive from whatever hard drive you currently have, whether it be a hard drive or an SSD or whatever it may be, was very, very painless. It was flawless, it worked perfectly, and there was absolutely no issues using that whatsoever. Um, well, I, I take that back. My mouse wouldn't work in the little utility thing, but the keyboard did and everything was fine. So there's really no complaints there. Uh, who knows why that was, but whatever it was. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the speed of this drive. I used uh, three different, well, two different utilities to actually benchmark this. And then I loaded up Battlefield 3 as a, uh, a little speed test on loading of the game. Now, the first drive I'm gonna show you here is my Crucial M4. And that was a 282 megabyte per second uh, read speed and 188 megabyte per second write speed. This uh, ADATA, this XPG uh, SX900 is advertised, as I mentioned, at 550 read for documents, 510 read for multimedia, and 530 write for documents to 320 for multimedia. And we got speeds that are pretty much as advertised. I mean, we got 494 megabytes per second read speed as the drive was being used as the operating system. So, and about 50% utilization on this. But you can see we got 494 megabytes per second uh, read speed, 330 byte, 330 megabytes per second write speed in multimedia. And now just to kind of cross-reference that with another uh, benchmark here, I use DX Tori's, uh their little uh, utility for measuring how fast it can write to the drive when it comes to capturing games, game capture and stuff. Uh, we have, uh, as you can see here, 169 megabytes per second on the M4, which is the bottom drive there, and 322 megabytes per second write speed on the ADATA. And that 113 that you see there is a 7200 RPM mechanical drive to kind of give you some ideas of how fast this drive really is. So there you have it, guys. If you're, if you're looking for an inexpensive uh, SSD that comes in at a pretty good price at right about 80 cents per uh, gigabyte. This is a great, great bargain. It looks good if it's gonna be on display somewhere where you can see it. The speeds on it are not the fastest on the market, but they're definitely very competitive. They're very good. Uh, Windows boots for me in about uh, 12 to 15 seconds, and that's from the point at which you see uh, the splash screen for your motherboard go away. A lot of people like to measure their you know, boot time from the moment they push power, but every motherboard boots at a different speed, so it's about 12 seconds once you see the Windows logo pop up really, really fast. And Battlefield loaded in under 30 seconds in 64 player maps. That is just really awesome. This is gonna be my new main drive here on the uh, the big black and yellow case uh, system that I have here. And guys, if you've enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Uh, if you're looking for an SSD this season, definitely give a data a look. They're a product that I think uh, performs really, really well at a price that's not gonna break your bank. And of course, they're available anywhere from 64 gigs up to 500 gigabytes. And there is a lot of technology in this drive when it comes to migration when it comes to um, level, um, what they call it, level wear, wear level technology, where it keeps the drive operating as long as possible. It's got smart technology, so it's definitely worth taking a look at. Guys, I'm going to get on out of here. Thanks for watching this video, and as always, I will see you when I see you in my next video.
Take care.